These 21 short videos will help you quickly see and understand the relationships and patterns among various types of irregular verbs in English so that you can use them correctly. Verbs like do. This video will help you see relationships among various types of irregular verbs in English. The key to understanding irregular verbs is to look for and notice the patterns. These verbs are not exactly the same, but they do have some similarities. Verbs like do and go have completely different forms in the past. In the S form and the past participle, they follow the same spelling patterns but the pronunciation of the vowel sounds is different. Let's look at the examples. Now with these two verbs, do and go, you'll notice that the spelling is almost exactly the same for the endings, except for in the past tense, when these two verbs take on different forms. However, the pronunciation is completely different. For example, do and go both end in an O, but one is pronounced do, the other was pronounced with an O sound, go. For the S form, they both have O-E-S as their ending, but do is pronounced does, go is pronounced goes in the S form. Then, of course, the past forms of these two verbs are completely different, did and went. Now, in the past participle, the spelling of the ending is the same, but the pronunciation is different. O-N-E with do is pronounced done. O-N-E with go is pronounced gone. And then the I-N-G forms are the same in the spelling, but different in the pronunciation, doing and going. Derivatives of these verbs. A few verbs are derived from these. They follow the same patterns. For example, overdo, overdid, overdone, overdoing undergo, underwent, undergone, undergoing.